It's just too much for me. And I, ca I cannot handle it anymore. And I mean, this is like, what, after five minutes of use. I mean, I don't even use this much, this iPad Air that much anymore because it always crashes. So I did this video so that um, the other consumers who is uh, planning to get an iPad Air knows about this. So for whatever reason, I ask um, uh, the people from Apple, the, they call it the, the tech people, tech support for Apple Care, and they said that they've never had um, any issues about the iPad Air crashing. Um, which I find odd because there's a forum in, in Apple, uh, look for the subject that says low memory iPad Air, and you'll see that these people are experiencing the same issues I'm experiencing. Um, it's just bizarre to me that Apple is not fessing up about this. I found out that they're um, uh, working on the next generation of iPad, which I mean, I mean, it, it's it's already uh, a known fact that they do this every year. But then, why would you create or sell an iPad that you already know it has a low memory issue, right? Um, if now they're they're just gearing up with um, uh, for people to just buy more iPads, you know, it's more of like um, uh, you know, we just want to sell a lot of these and forget about the 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 quality, right? It's sad because I do love Apple. Um, I have all the Apple products. I have the I have my macbook pro here you know and it's just sad that um i have my iphone 5 um after the ios um update i started having uh, minimal crashing you know like the apple logo will show up and you know the whole thing will just um go back to the home screen but it's not as bad as the ipad air um i don't understand why um it it's only happening with my ipad air I use the same apps, same apps with um, uh, with my other iPad, and and they don't crash. They don't have this issue here. Uh, I already actually um, disabled the automatically send because because of the constant crashing, it keeps on sending all these messages to Apple, and it's draining my battery. So I stopped, you know, but. I do plan to return this today and just get a, a MacBook Air 11 inch and um, when I'm, you know, when I get it today, I'm gonna post it anytime this weekend, um, the unboxing uh, of um, the 11 inch MacBook Air. Um, I'm just sad that I have to return this, but then I'm sure I'm gonna get a better um, product. You know, I'm, I'm not going to switch to Kindle Fire HDX. I'm not going to do that. Um, I, I do have the Surface Pro right there. RT, uh, I, I mean, Surface RT. My husband has the Surface Pro. Um, but I hardly use that. I only use it for backup or if I want to use some Office. Uh, I'm just um, uh, comfortable using... Um, my surface for Excel and Word and all those things. Um, and it's just sad to have to return this. I mean, it's it's just the crashing part of it. It's just nonstop, you know. I mean, can you imagine watching a, a movie and you're you're already anticipating, you know, like what 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 the climax will be, you know, and what's gonna happen. And it's just a hassle, and then suddenly it'll just close up on you. Um, it'll just quit. The Apple quit, and then when you click on HBO Go, um, it won't resume to the last part when it crashed. You would have to like look for it, and this happens with my YouTube too. Um, it's not just HBO Go. It has not uh, for whatever reason has nothing to do with the app you're using. Even when I'm using my email, it crashes. 
if I'm looking for pictures or surfing the safari, it crashes. You know, I tried um, reenacting this yesterday, but uh, it's not doing it. You know, I don't know why. It, it, it's like it has a mind of its own. So I've had it. I'm done with it. Uh, I'm going to return it. So I'm just sharing my experience with you guys with the iPad Air. Um, if you're planning to get this, you know, I hope you don't experience the same thing I'm experiencing currently um, because I'm still using it until I return it like two hours now. But I'm um, just letting you know um, this is my experience. And if you um, search for low, if you if you uh, Google the low memory iPad Air, you'll find the the forum about this, and it's in Apple. So, you know, uh, if you're planning to get this iPad Air, maybe um, skip this year and just wait for the new one that comes out. Um, it has a lot of issues and is very frustrating. So I'm um, sharing you my experience. I hope that, um, uh, well, if you have the iPad Air and you're not experiencing anything, then hey, I'm happy for you. But a lot of the users that are in the forum in Apple who bought an iPad Air are having the same issue that I'm experiencing. So um, that's it for my review for iPad Air. Um, uh, I'll post another video when I get um, my MacBook Air. I'm just going to get the 11-inch because um, I already have the MacBook Pro. Uh, so I'm only going to use the 11 inch to replace my iPad Air. Uh, you know, I'm hoping it's a better one. Okay, because it's using a different iOS. Everything is different about it. So I'm looking forward to it. And um, I'm going to post it um, anytime this week. Probably today. So that's it for my review of iPad Air.